many games you win, how much money you make, where you live, the car you drive, the house you have, the fame, the prestige, whatever. None of that stuff matters. Mm -hmm. So, none of that stuff matters. Um, I thought it mattered for a while. We talked about that cabinet retreat, football. It's really not about playing football. It's about great connections, connections with others. It's the hardest sport out there. That's why I love it so much. You can be big, you can be slow, little, fast. There's a spot for all of you, but you gotta be tough mentally and physically. You gotta be willing to sacrifice for others. You gotta be a servant leader. I love the game of football and all the life lessons it's taught me. But I can promise you this, the most important thing in my, wife, in my life is my wife. Um, and I thank her and all the coaches' wives in here for putting up with, with us. Um, I don't know what goes on with coaches. We don't get paid anything. We're gone all the time, get criticized all the time, and we love it. And the person who usually suffers the most and has to put up with the most is the coach's wife. So all the coach's wives in here, thank you. To mine, I love you, babe. Thompson Tough forever. Um, she's the heart and soul of this team. You're lucky she's not the head coach because she's meaner than me. She'd be harder on you guys than me. We'll come home and she'd be like, did you yell at that kid for fumbling or whatever? But um, I love you, babe. And um, having ALS is really hard. Every day is hard. Could not do it without the help of God. The way God helped me is He gave me the best parents ever. I kind of like sports. I mean, I was playing rec basketball, church basketball, whatever. When I was like 45, and whose parents show up and watch your games when you're 45? My parents do. Um, my mom and dad are, are my best friends. I have great brothers and sisters. And God placed this amazing woman in my life that changed everything for me. And I couldn't ask for better three boys. They help me all the time. And I make Kyra tardy every day. Because it takes me so long to get to school. And he kind of don't like to be tardy. I don't know why he does. Like when I was, I told him one day in high school, I had a I had 39 tardies one term. I think there was 38 days. So, no. I've never been much on being on time. I think I got that from my mom. Um, but, you guys in this room are part of my family now too. And will always be. Couldn't get through this without you guys. So, do you not a more cheerful note? And I really believe this. I've been talking with someone who has ALS. I've never met him. And he's so far, he can only move his eyes. And he texted me the other day. I asked him, how do you do it? How do you deal with it? What's, you know, how are you getting through the day? And he said, you're going to come to see <laughs> The ALS is a gift. thinking our gift shit this is the worst thing that ever happened to me every day I'm angry and sad
but now I see what he was talking about. <laughs> The gift is, I know it's really important. I've never been happier in my marriage. I've never felt closer to God. Never been more appreciative of the little things in my life. And because of that amazing woman and all you in this room, I know I have the strength to keep going and do this for many more years. It'll be hard, but you know anything worth achieving in life is hard. <laughs> Don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone, seniors. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself. Don't be afraid to do something so hard. That's where joy is at. And like I said, I should have brought my damn phone tonight, and then you wouldn't have heard all this shit. But you know, there's been a lot on my mind. And I know I can share it with the people in this room. Um, so I see Chet out there. Can't even log into my computer every morning. Chet does all my grades, logs in for me. We have a great time out there, right, Chet? So, um, and you really find out who your friends are, and I've never felt more love and support in my life. So, as my friend said, um, sometimes the things you dread the most, I think are the worst, really are a gift help you really find true joy and happiness and feel the many you know the love and support of all the many people in my life so I apologize for getting so emotional should I hate getting emotional like this I remember growing up I wouldn't bear my testimony at church ever because I knew I was going to cry. I think the first time I ever bore it was on my, my mission and I, and I was afraid to talk to people because I was, felt I would get so emotional. But you now I do see too that that too is a gift. And I want the people in this room, especially those seniors that are moving on, to know how much I love them. And juniors, I'm proud of you guys. You've been working your butt off. Coach Larson and Coach Zach are kicking your butt. And we're going to be dismissed next year, and we're going to be freaking good. And we're going to figure it out. And we're going to have a lot of fun here at Ogden High, but I promise you, it's still not going to be about wins. Because we're going to win, but it's going to be about finding joy and those little things and being together and playing this great game. Um, so, thanks to my dad for helped me fall in love with this game when I was little. That led me to so many great things in my life. And again, the, the best and most important, um, my wife, the amazing Sky. Sorry to put your dancing up there, babe. I was gonna stop it right before that. But, okay. Um, so, I've talked long enough. I think Chet and the seniors are gonna come up here and maybe turn over some, you know, gifts to the, to the coaches and you know, sorry that that came out tonight. I'll, I'll do my best to be back laughing and swearing for the next 364 days till next year's banquet. So, um, seniors, whoever are coming up, come up here and, Chino, you know, before we're done, maybe let's get one more break by you with, with family, and I love you guys, and good luck in the future. Okay, seniors, you guys got them. Yes, sir.